Good Friday morning to you. I'm uh, out here, as you can tell, or I guess you can tell. I'm out, <laughs> I'm out with the horses this morning, feeding, and uh, was filling up the water trough and been saying my declarations. And there was a declaration I said this morning that kind of sparked something in me that I wanted to share with you guys today. And that is, <clears throat> I am supernatural. <laughs> now, if you're like me, you probably think, Who, what? Little old me? How could I be supernatural? Well, this is how you can be supernatural. Because the one who is, is inside of you is supernatural. That's how you're supernatural. Another declaration I made this morning was, I'm more spirit than flesh. And <clears throat> that one I'm still trying to wrap my brain around also, but that really is true because of the one who lives inside of us. Um, we do still have this flesh and bone, but um, we live from our spirit. We, we, are, we need to train to hear our spirit and to live from our spirit man. Um, but... I wasn't going to go on that trail. Where I wanted to go was I, I created a new declaration out of these smaller ones as I was pondering that I was supernatural. And so I just want to encourage you today that you're not as small as you think you are. <laughs> you're not insignificant. You're not small. You're not ineffective. In fact, the opposite of that is true. The, the truth is, is that you are powerful. You are more spirit than flesh. You are supernatural. And, and you can do the things that Jesus says you can do. You can. Um, so this is the new declaration. And it's a combination of several I've been making. So it's not really new. It may be new to you. And that is... Um, I am supernatural because of the one who lives in me is supernatural. Therefore, I can do what he says I can do. I can do what he says I can do. Nothing is impossible to me because I believe. Now, those are all based on scripture. If you need references, I will look them up for you and give them to you. But that's a truth you can hang your hat on. And that's a truth I would encourage you to begin rehearsing until it becomes a part of who you are because, well, it's truth. And you need to know that you're significant. It doesn't matter how you feel. Feelings are okay. You have to have your feelings. They just don't get to dictate to you what's the truth. And the truth is you are powerful because of the one who is in you. You are significant because of the one who is in you. So I'm going to really exhort you today to quit believing the lies that you're hearing, that you're not significant, you're not important, nobody cares, you know, woe is me. It's like, get, get out of the pit. <laughs> get out of the pit and remember whose you are. Remember whose, who you belong to. You belong to the Lord God Most High. So... <clears throat> Nothing is insignificant to him. If he, feeds, if he feeds the birds of the air, how much more will he not care for you? <laughs> so, be encouraged. Choose to believe the truth. Quit listening to the lies of the enemy and believe the truth. You are significant. You are supernatural because of the one that is in you is supernatural. You can do what he says you can do because nothing is impossible for you because you believe. There you go. I didn't say it exactly the same, but you get the idea. If it doesn't sound like something you would say, as long as the context of the words are the, are the same, you can say it how, it how you would say it. But my point is, say it. Say it out loud. Don't just think it in your head. Your words are powerful, so when you speak, something happens. So as you speak, they're not only declaring into the atmosphere, but you're hearing it as well, which is so important. 
It's so important. And you keep saying it until it becomes a very part of who you are. All right, I need to uh, get to the office, turn off the water and get to the office. You guys have a great Friday. I will see you later. Bye.